hear it in a whole new way. Cool. Stripped down performances from groundbreaking musicians and emerging artists. Plus, the stories behind the songs. This is Sirius XMU Sessions. All right, it's time to fire up this week's Sirius XMU Session. It's Josiah here for the interview, where I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Sophie Allison, a.k.a. Soccer Mommy. We were huge fans of her previous two albums, including 2020's Color Theory, which brought us community favorites like Lucy and Circle the Drain. She has just put out her third album, Sometimes Forever. And Sophie's joining us for stripped down performances from the new record, as well as a very special cover later on in the set. Sophie, thanks so, so much for sharing these performances with our listeners here this week. It's really great to have you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. So you're going to be kicking off the set here with your song Shotgun, which Mm -hmm. we'll get right into. We really enjoyed playing it on the channel here this year. You said of the song earlier, quote, Shotgun is all about the joys of losing yourself in love. I wanted it to capture the little moments in a relationship that stick with you. Can you tell us a little more about that? Like what experiences helped to bring this song into focus for you? Yeah, no, I mean, I think I definitely, I wanted to get that excitement of, you know, when you're first meeting someone and falling in love. And for me, it's been a couple years since I was starting to date anyone because I've been in a long relationship. So I was thinking back on some of that a lot. And it's, it's so strange deeper into a relationship to think back on the beginning and how crazy and exciting everything felt, but also kind of you know, scary and um, a little like insecure and and nervous. Um, So I really wanted to get all of that kind of energy in the song. Totally. I think I heard you just recently moved into your guys' first home over in Nashville. Is that right? How's it going for you over there? I did. We we love it. Um, I mean, we're both from Nashville, so we've lived around Nashville a lot. Um, But it's very nice to finally have like a, a more settled house. Totally. Let's get into the song, then we'll talk a bit more on the other side. This is Soccer Mommy bringing you a stripped down performance of her song Shotgun exclusively on this week's Sirius XMU session.
just heard an exclusive stripped down performance from Soccer Mommy, bringing that moving rendition of her song Shotgun on this week's Sirius XMU session. Sophie, so it's my understanding that these new songs started coming together in 2020 when the uh, the pandemic put the kibosh on the Color Theory tour. You've been talking a bit about how this was a time of upheaval in your life, maybe also an opportunity for personal growth. Can you take us back to that time? Like what ended up working for you? Where, where have you ended here on the other side? Yeah, no, I mean, I think I, when, when that happened and everybody's life's obviously were put on hold. Um, it was no different for me, but at the same time, I think I needed a break um, just from being gone all the time, being fast paced, moving, you know, constantly. I've been doing that since I was 19. And so it was, it was kind of needed and it did give me a time to, you know, just relax and like have a normal life a little bit and focus on music and I'd actually, the first song from this album came in like summer 2019. So I was already thinking about the the record and I got to write like kind of most of it happened in like early summer of uh, 2020 when everything was shut down because I was just so, I had so much time on my hands that I was excited to to write and just kind of treat it like I, like it was just a hobby a little bit more than um, work. Yeah say where you've ended up on the other side <laughs> maybe there's no other side maybe there's just more of the path or whatever yeah. so what did you end up doing that helped like uh, i think i heard you took control and kind of got off social media for example i did get off social media which is awesome honestly no regrets uh i i think once you are off social media a little while every time i log back on because i still have accounts i'm always like oh nothing's happening ever <laughs> here um so I, I don't regret it. I There are certain memes. I, I miss being someone who knows memes and like jokes because my friends will always like say a meme now and they're like, oh, have you seen that? And I'm like, absolutely not. I haven't seen anything, apparently. I just don't know anything funny anymore. Um, but other than that, it's it's been very, very peaceful, very relaxing to not be on social media. Yeah, maybe the meme ignorance is a uh, small enough price worth paying to uh, skip all of the rest, right? Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, feeling like a boomer every once in a while is is totally fine if I if I get to like have the mental stability they have or something. Um, so, <laughs> so we're about to hear a performance of your song Bones. Can you remember back to like the first elements that started coming together on this song? How Bones evolved from there? Yeah, this song was written very quickly because I was I was writing it originally as an idea for a like a Netflix movie. Um and they wanted a song and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I can try something." And the song just kind of came out um and I wasn't super like honed in on it mentally, I think, because I thought I was just going to give it to a, a movie possibly, but then I ended up really liking it and decided to keep it for myself and yeah I don't know I I felt like um it had that really nice feeling that you get when you write a song sometimes where it just comes super naturally and everything feels like the ideas flow well between each other uh in a weird way so I was kind of actually really happy with it and excited about it because it just felt very natural and like easy it's great we're so happy to have Soccer Mommy joining us for this week's Sirius XMU session. Here's another exclusive stripped down performance from her new album, Sometimes Forever. This one's called Bones. I feel the bones of how we used to be. They crowd the space between the sun sheet. Back then, 
thought you could love and understand But I know that I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not You make me feel like I another song from this year's new soccer mommy album sometimes forever i'm so grateful we got to hear that stripped down version of her song bones exclusively on this week's serious xmu session so sophie earlier this year right when i first heard that you were working with daniel lopatin on this new album i wish you could have seen the smile on my face <laughs> i sort of wish like i could have seen it too to be honest like i am our channel's resident low patent stan for sure awesome i don't you know i don't really like collect records per se i have too much respect for people who um actually do but but when i do it's for his project 10 tricks point never mm -hmm. like he has a a special section of my record cart set aside uh just for him that's so awesome i i understand that he was a fellow fan of your music can you fill us in on how you ended up connecting with dan in the first place yeah, so I'm I'm a big fan of his as well. Uh, and when it when you know I had maybe like six or seven songs for the new record, we started talking about producers and whatnot. And my label sent over a list of some like ideas, and he was on it. And I was instantly like, um, "That's really cool." There's no way he's gonna either be available or want to do this, but. You might as well reach out because that'd be awesome and he was interested and available as we now know um and i was instantly just like let's do it this is this is so such a cool idea i honestly had no idea how it was going to turn out um or where it would take us i was just really like excited i don't know i i really am a fan of his and i think he has really good style and taste and interesting ideas and i just kind of felt like we couldn't not make something cool. Um, I didn't know what was going to come of it, but I, I knew it was going to be um, exciting. Yeah. Like once you were in the studio working together, can you describe the dynamic you two developed as you started actually working through these songs? Um, It was great. Honestly, I love Dan and all of us do. Everyone in the band really liked him. He, him and Matt, his engineer, uh, we all... Mm -hmm had like such a good time and he's just he's a really cool person and he's also really with music he's just so like excited about ideas which gets everybody excited and I think in the studio you know when we'd be working on a song and he'd bring in some he'd like basically before we came in and recorded a song one day he'd do stuff like at his like Airbnb he'd just like play on his computer and make cool stuff with the demos that I had sent. And 
he'd like bring in really cool like ideas that he had just like basically already um worked on to like put in a part and it was just so like exciting first thing in the morning you know that's what happened with unholy affliction he came in with this whole sequence thing and that he had made with the demo and it was like it just gets everybody like fired up and excited to like you know not just record what you need not just be like okay basic tracking let's throw a bunch of guitars in there throw a bunch of synths on there like just kind of get you know inspired and and mess around and experiment a lot so it it definitely gave the studio time this sense of like trying to do something exciting and fresh and you know trying to like break out of the box a little bit yeah just makes me so happy (laughs) that you two were able Mm -hmm. to work together on this yeah so if we put music aside for a minute i understand that you're a fellow fan of the game stardew valley of course so maybe i'll see you in the joe jamart sometime oh that that, that um, joe jamart is closed oh it's out oh okay i (laughs) i'm gonna miss the kind of the kind of droney like white noise in the background in there it's one of my loki favorite little honestly terrifying i i really love that plot line in the story I like that, you know, you can choose e- to either keep it or, like, to become a JoJo Mart member or, like, you can, like, choose two paths in the mm-hmm. game and it takes, it brings it two different ways. Yeah, I ended up chatting with um, Michelle from Japanese Breakfast quite a lot about Stardew Valley and some mm-hmm. technical uh, detail. I wanted to ask you, like, what else are you playing right now or what have you played recently that's been good for you? I literally only play Stardew Valley Harvest Moon and Pokemon. That's it. Uh, I watch Julian play a lot of video games. I I think with the shooting games, I really like them and I'm excited by them, but I get way too like anxious and stressed out. Like gives me like heart palpitations. Um, so I don't I don't like to do those, but I like to watch them. I've been watching him play Hitman right now, the the third one. Yeah. And that's that's a really fun one because I, I like to help, like, tell him things, like, help him solve things, um, yeah. but that, not that's have to That's such a fun play. one to play, like, couch co-op, essentially. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. I'll go over there. What are you doing? There's, like, the emergent sort of story that comes yeah. in each scene, you know? Yeah, that's a really good one. <laughs> nice. Well, Sophie, I'm happy to share with our listeners that you are about to share with us a song called New Demo from your album, Sometimes Forever. Can you tell us a bit about this song we're about to hear? Yeah, yeah, this is this is one that I wrote a little later in the record writing process. Um, and honestly, when we went into the studio, I was really unsure of if it was going to end up making the album. I liked the song, but I had no idea how we were going to handle it in the in the recording process. So I was very um, I was very uncertain about it and then we got in there and we recorded some stuff and once we started adding you know beyond just the the stuff that was in the demo just guitar and vocals um it really came to life and kind of became one of my favorites and honestly like everyone in the in the group like kind of everybody's uh favorite once again here's sophie allison aka soccer mommy sharing with us her song new demo on this week's serious xmu session The creature that feeds behind closed doors There's nothing it needs The money and greed And a warm place to sleep And the men up on the hill Are playing their cards like it's so
You just heard Soccer Mommy share another stripped down performance. Of that song, New Demo, exclusively on this week's Sirius XMU session. It's Josiah here, joined by Soccer Mommy's Sophie Allison, as she's about to share a very special cover with us. Heads up, before we do so, Soccer Mommy is going to be out on a North American tour this fall, including some pretty stellar opening acts. I must say, I think that our co-host Chris over on uh, Gorilla vs. Bear is also probably pretty stoked uh, to hear you're touring with musicians like Elena Delon, uh, Lightning Bug, and Tops. Mm-hmm. That's all great. So we're looking forward to seeing you out on the road, Sophie. On your way out of here, you're about to share with us a cover of a 1993 classic from Slow Dive. Yeah. For the uh, the children listening who may or may not be familiar with Slow Dive, can you um, tell us which song you're going to be covering and a bit about your history with Slow Dive? Yeah, I'm I'm covering Dagger, which is a favorite of mine off of... Um, you know, their their huge album. If you have not listened to it, I think that everyone needs to go listen to it. Um, but I have been a huge fan of theirs for since I was in high school. Um, and they were they were like one of the the early bands that I think kind of inspired me to like um, be interested in the kind of music that now is like everything I'm interested in. Um, because I just thought it was so amazing how they had these beautiful, like, haunting songs that could then have just so much going on behind it, so much space, so much, like, ethereal sound that's just kind of swallowing it all up. Um, and it always amazed me. And then we actually got to tour with them when they had that uh, new album come out and like, it must have been, like, 2017, I think, something mm-hmm. like that. Um we got to, I mean, tour, we played two shows, but they were, it was a big, it was a big deal for me yeah. mentally. <laughs> Huge deal. Yeah. Well, Sophie, it's been amazing to have you with us this week. We really appreciate you sharing these performances from your new album, Sometimes Forever, as well as this slow dive cover we're about to hear. Thanks again for joining us. And whenever it's time for the next batch of Soccer Mommy tunes, I hope you'll come back to share some more. Okay. Oh, of course. This has really been a treat. Thanks again. Playing yeah. us out on this week's Sirius XMU session. This is Soccer Mommy covering the classic slow dive tune Dagger. We'll see you back for another session next week. Sunshine girl is sleeping She falls in dreams alone
Sessions, script down performances, and the stories behind the songs. Hear them again whenever you want with the SXM app, free for most subscribers. Download it today and start listening outside the car. You're